All right, so um, just getting back into the RC world, and I needed a 12 volt supply for my battery charger because uh, I didn't want to have to always have a uh, car battery or something in the house. So I started looking around at how much power supplies were, and I came across videos on YouTube that talk about taking an old computer power supply and hacking it up and turning it into a a 12 volt supply for your charger so I didn't have an old one hanging around like most people did but there's always Amazon and eBay and I picked this up for like 13 bucks so it's relatively cheap and so if it breaks oh well it was cheap and so got that home and started following the instructions and from the videos that I've seen um, had some parts. I uh, got stuff like this: uh, bind, binding posts, binding plugs, whatever you want to call them. And so I got a couple sets of those. And luckily for me, on the power supply here, there's all this mesh area. So you take your nips and cut these holes out, and you can create some nice, good spaces for those posts. Um, oh, by the way, here's all the here's all the pieces you cut off, right? So there's the 24 pin connector, uh, some Molex and SATA connectors here. You know, you, you're not going to need any of that stuff. You just cut it off and then bundle up all the wires. You're going to need, you know, black for ground. The orange is your 3.3 volt lines. The reds are the 5.5, the yellows are the 12 volt, and of course, I said, yeah, blacks are ground. So I opened up the thing, had to slice through the stickers. My warranty is voided. Oh well, um, fan stays in there, which the fan should stay operable, by the way, because there's a tiny little plug. You can just see it right there. That's where the fan will go. Um, anyway. I was about to put this all together and my soldering iron took a crap. So I had to use just crimps and splices for right now. But uh, and the binding posts I, had, I got from Fry's, which were cheap, again, like $2.99, but they fit the bill perfect. But as you can see, they're not insulated right there. So I thought, oh no, what am I going to do It's if it hits the chassis? Um, but also at Fry's, you can find everything at Fry's, right? So there's these little quarter-inch vinyl grommets. Cost like another 250 or something. Sorry for the focus in and out. Um, anyway, so that hole is just perfect for the diameter of the post. So I just opened these up a little bit more and uh, popped that grommet thing in there. And then ran the post through it, tightened down the, uh, the nuts. Worked awesome, right? So it's my 12 volt line here. About I think there's four wires bundled together there. Four wires, from what everyone says on the forums and on YouTube videos, that should be enough to handle the amperage. Um, you know, I'm not going to charge anything higher than probably five amps. You know, here's the AccuCell six that I picked up to do the charging. So um, I'm not going to put a huge amp draw on this anyway. So um, so four four wires bundled together work just fine. Same thing on the ground there. Four wires hooked up there. The only thing left to do is oh um, so the green out of the 24 pin connector. The green is your power on signal from that comes from the motherboard switch, right? So what you do when you would press the power key or the power button on the front of the case, it would, you know, short that that circuit. So what I've done is I've just spliced together the green and one ground out of the multitude of ground wires we had here. Just splice them together. Uh, so that'll take care of it being always on. The other thing you have to do sometimes look when you if you're going to try this, check your your connector. And where is that guy? 
Okay, so right here on the edge, if I can get that to focus. Uh, where'd you go? Yeah, great video making, I know. Okay, so you can see in one pin you had the brown and the orange together. The orange is a 3.3 volt power line and the brown is like a 3.3 sensing wire, so those need to be connected together. So there's only going to be one brown in this bundle, multiple oranges, but just take one of them and uh, put those together as well. So I've got the brown and the orange spliced together, i got the black and the green spliced together, and I'll probably come back and solder these when I get a soldering iron working. Um, and that's that's about all you need to do. I've got uh, the 12 volt, like I said, yellow will be 12 volt, black is ground. I might put in the five five and a half volt or five volt line. I might do the same thing. I got you know as you see plenty more room. I can put more of those things over here. Um, one thing you do have to do though, almost everybody says this, depending on the power supply. I'm gonna take one of these, one of the reds. 5 volt and one of the ground wires black and you need to solder in this is why I have to go get the soldering gun um, you need to solder in a resistor uh, most people again fries will have this it was like 99 cents uh, I don't have it handy right now but um, it's a 10 watt resistor 1.5 ohms okay so it's a uh, 1.5 ohm resistance 10 watts of uh, power. So you just solder one of those in with one lead on the red and one lead on the black and what that's going to do is put a little bit of a load on the uh, power supply when you turn it on and that does, I'm not an electrician, I don't play one on TV but that's going to kind of clean up the power delivery of the of the unit and, and bring it up all the way up to a good solid 12 volts which you're going to output on these leads and go to your charger. So uh, this is in the build process but I think it's going to turn out kind of nice you know from this side. I still have the power switch here and I'm going to you know put your banana plugs right in there. You know, they're going to fit really well. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand it's a little whoa through the camera. All right, so I mean that's going to work awesome. DC leads right to the right to the charger. So I'll put up another video when it's in the more of a complete state. But uh, I mean total invested in this a little bit of time, but like less than twenty bucks. Um, so I'll do another video and let everybody know how it goes. All right, thanks for watching.